Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Ashwaubenon High School for tonight's girls' basketball game between Ashwaubenon Jaguars and the Appleton West Terrors. Should be in for a good game tonight. Got two pretty evenly matched teams here. Uh, starters are being announced for Appleton West right now. They include number five, Maggie Coughlin, number 11, Tess Verheyen, number 15, Rachel Agulkian. Number 23, Sarah Wiseman, and number 25, Kimmy Muehlmans. Don't know much about the Terriers, haven't seen them play so far this year. Um, they are coached by Richard Roosman. And let's meet the Jaguars from Ashwaubenon. Starting at guard is a senior, Haley Edelbeck. Number four, Sam Crowley, she's a junior. Number 22, Claire Shavely. Number 34, Jenna McDonough, and number 44, Neva Steingraber. Now, Nick, have you seen the girls play much this year? I have not. I have not. Not been out too many games, huh? Well, we got a packed field house tonight for this one. Big game between some really evenly matched teams from the FVA and from the Fox River Classic Conference. Just finishing up introductions here. Looks like we have a three-man refing crew tonight, as opposed to the traditional two referees in high school basketball. Maybe that's because they're getting used to the play, uh, playoff time where there is three refs. Oh, okay. Are they, are they switching over to two for next year, or three for next year all, all year? No, it's actually just uh, it's kind of a tradition that during most of the regular season there's two refs, and then okay. come playoff time, you, know, you don't want any yeah. missed calls in that's playoffs. True. Yep. So we should have a pretty well-officiated game tonight. Hope it goes smoothly. Looks like number 15, Rachel Agulkian, is going to tip it up for the Terrors. Big student sections here tonight, both sides. Haley Edelbeck is going to jump up for the Jags. Game on. Tip is controlled by the Terrors. Number five, Coughlin with the ball. Swings it over to number 11, Verheyen. And shot is missed by the Terriers. Offensive board swung back out to the perimeter. Verheyen with the ball again. Drives left. Nothing there. Back up to Verheyen. Takes it to the rim. Fouled. Good strong drive, huh, Nick? Sure was. Number 22, Shibley on the foul for the Jaguars. First free throw is good for Verheyen. Well, that's a nice stroke she has. That is there. an excellent stroke on Verheyen. <laughs> Two nothing tears. Sam Crowley takes the ball into the front court for the Jags. Looks like the Terriers are setting up in a little 2-3 zone. Trying to force the perimeter play from the Jaguars. Neva Strangrabber for three is no good. Rebounded by Verheyen. Five Coughlin brings it up for the Terriers. 
Jaguars are locked up in some tough man-to-man -to -man defense, Bobby Knight style. Terry's swinging the ball around the perimeter, looking for a good look. Spin move. Pass to number 23, Wiseman. Missed, but she gets her own board. Kicks out to Agulian for three is good for the Terrors. Five nothing, Appleton West. Pass goes into Steingraber, kicked over to Crowley. She brings it back out. Back to Crowley. Into the corner. Pass into the middle of the zone. And the basket is no good. Out of bounds to the Terrors. This 2-3 zone seems to be really messing with the Jaguars' heads, huh, Nick? Sure has. They haven't been able to get off a good shot. Oh, now they're in the full court press, trying to create a little tempo in this game. Trap from behind. Got the trap in the corner. Applin gets rid of the ball. They really got to attack that press. You got to make them pay for that. Little pick and roll game. Ooh, nice, nice, nice play, play right there. That was very nice. Wiseman right on the there. bucket. Great pick and roll. A little Chris Paul, the Blake Griffin action right there. The all opposite of going on. First time out of the game. We got 7 0 Appleton West. Slow start for the Jags. See if they can figure out this 2 3 zone. Coach Dave Herzog is looking to drop a play to break that zone right now. If you're not doing anything this Friday, the Ashwaubenon boys team has a big playoff game. Playing Kakana in the first round of the playoffs they, after they received a four seed. See if the Jaguars can get it rolling here. Get back in this one. Haley to back to inbound. Terriers are sticking to that 2 3 zone. Going to pack it in, make the Jags hit some jumpers. Skipped over to Crowley. Good ball movement here by the Jags. Got to attack those gaps. Moving the ball around the perimeter in the corner to Edelbeck. She drives, kicks to Crowley. Ball's kicked to the corner. Crossover by Edelbeck to the baseline. Pass scoots through, and the jumper is missed by Jenna McDonough. Terrors control yet again. 11 for Hyen taking the ball up court. Appleton West looks content to be patient with the ball. Looks really for a good do. shot. Oh, Three pointer. Now. No good. Rebound is run down by number five, Coughlin. Stuck in the corner, gets it back out. Post feed. And we got a jump ball. That should go Jaguars. Very, right. very nice defense down the post. Excellent defense. Staying with that play. Claire Shively on the, on the jump ball. Yes. Some good D by Shively. Ball is bumped out of bounds. Jaguars retain possession. Edel back to inbound for the Jaguars. Skipped all the way to the corner. Good play drawn up there by Dave Herzog. And the three-pointer rattles out for number 14, Annika Baton, who just checked into the ball game for 34 McDonough. Now the Jaguars have went to a 2-3 zone of their own, hoping to mix things up. Jaguars looking a little more active on this possession, trying to get something going. Shots no good by the Terrors. Jaguars looking to push the ball. Edelbeck drives to the rim, and a wild layup is no good. Terrors again with the possession. Jaguars still can't get off the schneid. 7-0 Terrors. Ball is skipped, stolen by Edelbeck. Let's see who can run this one down. And she controls it, brings it out. Wise decision there. 
Number 12, Alicia Garashi has also checked into the game for the Jaguars. Crowley with the left-handed floater. No good. Just seems like the Jaguars are struggling with the score, yeah, it's Nick. Been, it's been a very tough start here. Let's see if they can get something going here maybe, before the end of the quarter. Maybe create a little tempo, you know? Yeah. 15, Agulke and eyeing up that three-pointer, but says no and swings it over to number 25, Muehlmans for the three ball. Ten nothing, Appleton West Terrors. Rough start for the Lady Jags. We're gonna have to get some ball movement here. Swing it from all the way from left to right, down into the post to Shibley. Swings back to Garaccio. Good skip pass there. Three pointer on the way is no good. Jaguars just can't find a bucket right now. Verhein with the ball for the Terrors brings it up the court. Jaguars still sitting in that two three zone. 25, fires again is no good for the shot from Muehlmans. Rebound tears. Shots put up by number five. Coughlin is good. It's her first basket of the game. Another timeout by Dave Herzog and the Jags. They are struggling right now. Really, Nick. really struggling out there right now. Still haven't gotten up the got, They got to find something. They need some sort of offense. They got, they got to put it into the post, it's looking like. I'm thinking they're going to have to start pressuring a little bit. They really pass around the perimeter. Create some tempo. They're not, get, they're not getting much towards working. the rim. Settling for jumpers right now. I'd like to give a shout out to Paul Neuenfeld, athletic trainer here at Ashwaubenon High School. Always does a fine job with our student athletes. Great guy to talk to. Just an excellent trainer. Really knows what he's talking about. Got some new subs in for the Jaguars. We got number 10, Madison Manders, as well as number 24, Abby Schmidt. Terriers back in that 2-3. And why switch if it's been working the oh, whole time? Oh, yeah. I mean, look at oh, that. Oh, get another steal there by Verhein. Jumps that pass. And a foul by number 12, Gracio, on a strong take by Verhein. She'll go back to the line. She's 2-2 two for two in this game. It's the second team foul on the Jags, first on Garaccio. You know, you mentioned it before, she really has an excellent stroke from the line. Very, very sound free throw shooter. Great technique, very smooth. She has three points. Shooting for four. And that's no good. Off the rim, rebound to Steingram. Garaccio brings the ball up the court for the Jags. Crosses left to right, probing the defense. Step back by Steingrabber, no good. Rebound, Garaccio. Swinging it around the perimeter, good pump fake there. Good drive by Neva Steingrabber there. Skip pass into the hands of 12, Garaccio. She's dribbling around the top. Madison Manders fumbles the ball a little bit on the wing. And a trap by the Terrors draws the jump ball. It's going to be Appleton West basketball. Coughlin brings it up for the, for the Appleton West Terrors. Jaguars back into man to man. Yep. Verhein with the ball up top. Ball screen being set. She rejects it. Kicks to 25. Muehlmans for another three pointer. That's her second of the first quarter. And Appleton West with a commanding 16 0 lead. Ashwabron's going to have to figure out this 2-3 zone if they want to have a chance in this one. Skip pass to Madison Manders. Three-pointer on the way is no good. Rebound to Verheyen again. Terror is looking to slow it down a little bit. Get a good shot. Coughlin with the ball for the Terrors. She backs down and a foul. 
Uh, number 14, that's freshman Annika Baton for the Jaguars. Notice the Jaguars have two freshman guards in the game. Oh, and one comes out as I say that. Okay. Back into the game for the Jags is 22 Shavely and number two Edelbeck. Edelbeck, the only senior on the team this year. Right, it's a little senior leadership. Yes, yes. Not it's many really seniors is. on the squad, actually. In fact, she is the only senior. Very young team. May have a lot, of, a lot of potential. A lot right, of potential. Right. That may be a reason for some of the struggles they've had this year. Drive and missed by 23 Wiseman on Terrace. Edelbeck looks to push the lone senior, and she fumbles the ball away. And 23 Wiseman on the take. Good jump stop right there. And she finishes the layup. She now has full points in the first quarter. Great start here. 10 seconds left. Kicks to Lily Brown, seeing her first play in time. Oh, deep three. The deep three is off the back iron. No good. And West controls, and that is the end of the first quarter here at Ashwaubenon High School. Wow, 18 to nothing, Appleton they West. They are putting it on the Lady Jags right now. They, they got to do something to stop them. Could they beat the Miami Heat, Nick? It's looking like it right now. This is LeBron James has, no, has nothing on these ter terrors right now. Now it looks like we have a little youth cheerleader action going on out there. I always love to see the little girls yes. getting into it. Starting early. Yep. Isn't this just the cutest thing? It, yet? it really is. Learning some, learning some classic high school cheers. Hold our banner high. Singing the school song here at Ashwaubenon. You know, I can't help but notice, Nick, the view we have, there's so many banners here at Ashwaubenon High School. It, there a is. A really successful school, especially in softball. There are quite the abundance of banners, and the softball team really has has taken over at this school. Yeah, they have some exceptional players again this year, and they'll look to get back to another state crown, possibly. Ball is inbounded to Crawley. Start the second quarter. Let's see if the Jags can get a little something going here, get back in this game. High post to Edelbeck. She drives to her strong left hand. No good. Rebound Crowley is no good. Rims out. That's better, though. The Jaguars need to start attacking. Right into the post. That was good. That yep, was good. That's a good possession. Just got to finish those. Five Coughlin with the ball for the Terriers. Good defense. Looks like the Jags coming out with a little more energy. Yeah, they, got, they got some swarming D going on right now. Dave Herzog must have gave him a great pep talk in between quarters there. Crossover by Coughlin, spins back to the right, pump fakes. Whoa, what a series of moves. Wow. And the finish. That, that was, that was, that was good great. stuff right there. She has four points. It's 20 to nothing. Crowley with the ball on the top of the key, backed into the high post. There we go. Good, another good shot for the Jags. Just can't finish. Rebound to Verheyen, over to Coughlin on the wing. She's looking to feed the post, it's not there. It swings it around. Looks like they're running the flex offense, otherwise known as the swing offense, made famous by Bo Ryan at Wisconsin. Good strong drive there by number 33, Stinky. And she's gonna get two throws out of this one. That's some very nice basketball history, Ed. Thank you, Nick. know that. And if you uh, follow the Wisconsin Badgers uh, athletics, their basketball team has been playing very well. Uh, yeah, ranked ranked good, in the top 20 in the good country. Good win yesterday. Yes. Very big good win. win. Blew, blew out the Buckeyes. Mm -hmm. Always a big rival. Stanky misses the first free throw. Swish on the second one. And Sam Crowley is picked by Coughlin on the top of the key. Finishes with the right hand layup. Jags really struggling to get into any resemblance of an offense here. Looks like there's a piece of debris possibly on the court. Oh no, mouth guard. Oh, okay. Gotta protect those teeth. Yep. Nice stop by the ref, you always need those. Good pass there by Shibley. Finish left hand oh, and one. one for Sam Crowley. Gets the Jaguars on the board. 23 to 2. 
First foul on Sarah Wiseman. Sam Crowley on the line for the Jags. Maybe this can get a little bit momentum going. And she gets the kind roll on the free throw. She has three now. Jaguars putting on that full court pressure. Haley Beck reaches in. Terrors get the ball. Jaguars trying to create a little tempo. Floater there by Coughlin is no good. Crowley with the rebound. Jaguars have some numbers here. She splits the double and gets two more free throws. Looks like the Jags have found a little something here in Sam Crowley. Sam Crowley also very good at German. 5'5 five, five junior, excellent German student. She just traveled to Germany this past summer also. In uh, the GAP program. Yes, very great program here at Ashwaubenon. She's off on the first. And the two freshmen check back in from Jags. 12 Gracio and 14 Baton. Uh, excuse me, Agulkian back in for the Terrors. Tough name to pronounce. Yeah, I noticed that Appleton West has a pretty short bench right now. They've only played seven players, and it looks like they only have two more after that suited up even. Injury bug going around there, looks Must like. Must be. Good press put on here by the Jags, and they get the steal. Baton tight roping that half court line, throws the skip pass to Edelbeck. She's going to drive to her left hand, skip it to Crowley. She's going to drive to her left hand and get another pa pair of free throws. Sam Crowley attacking the rim hard, getting the Jags a little momentum. What they needed right there. Yeah. Sam Crowley giving what they needed. That's the second foul on Sarah Wiseman, who's a key player. Excuse me, that foul was on Verheyen. Crowley nets the first. She has all five Jaguar points. And she sinks the second. Press back on for the Jags. As long as they keep scoring, they can keep this pressure up. It seems to be bothering the Terrors. They break it there. Coughlin with the ball. But goes behind the back, drops the defender. Over. And dude, the J rattles out strong board by Baton. Edelbeck's pushing, skips it up the sideline, tipped out of bounds by the Trojans. Jaguars ball. Some good hustle by both teams there. Madison Manders checks back in for the Jags. Very good softball player. Very, Excellent softball player. Very great pitcher. And speaking of that softball team here at Ashwaubenon. Yes. Inbounded to Crowley. Firing that ball on Madison Manders. Wide open for three. No good. Strong board there by Annika Baton of the Jags. Foul on 25 Muehlmans. She doesn't like the call. Tara's getting into some foul trouble here. Yeah. Pretty soon the Jags are going to be in the bonus. That could help them get back into this game. Into Crowley, she has eight points in the quarter in three minutes of play. She has really come alive and is single-handedly helping the Jaguars gain some momentum here. Edelbeck with a nice assist off the out-of-bounds play there, drawn up by Dave Herzog. Ball slung around by the Terriers, drive left. Verheyen with the pull-up J is no good. Out-of-bounds to the Jaguars. Jaguars fans giving the Terrors a tough time after that air ball. Crowd is looking to get this team pumped up a little bit here. Now the Terrors look like they're going to a 1-2-1-1 one, one, one trap. Crowley skips it to the middle. That's a good press break by the Jaguars. Edelbeck drives, steps out of bounds though. Can't drive baseline if you don't know where you're going. Yeah, I gotta be, yeah, I gotta be watching. Yeah, gotta have your head up. Abby Schmidt checks into the game. Yeah. As well as Garaccio. Yes. Abby Washkovich getting her first minutes for the Terrors. Gofflin breaks the press in the corner, pushing the ball up the floor. Jump stop, kick to Washkovich. Air balls the three pointer. Jags get it back again. Something that Herzog said to them at the in between quarters, must have really stuck. Put a little pop in their step. They are playing with a lot more intensity and enthusiasm, and the Terrors are going back into that trap. See if the Jags can uh, beat it this time. 
Stein Grabber checks in for the Jags. Eel back with the pump fake. Good play there. Stein Grabber drives, kicks. Ball moved to the corner. Three pointer on the way off the back iron. Neva Stein Grabber with the rebound. Takes it up strong. And she traveled. 50 50 call there by the referee. Could have called the contact, but he chose to call the travel first. Both teams pressing this game. It's pretty up tempo now, huh, Nick? Very exciting. It really is. Jaguars come alive here. Come alive. And the Terrors have been struggling a little bit. Making the game more fun to watch with this up tempo. And foul a little too much hands there for number 14, Akabaden. Good job of being strong with the ball by five Coughlin. Terrors. Crowley checks back in for Baden. We just picked up her second foul. Jags still implementing their press here, even with the side out of bounds play. Looking to force the Terrors to the sideline and possibly get a trap. Good crossover there by Coughlin. She really has a good handle. She with the does. Ball. She she knows what she's doing with that ball. 25 Mulemans on the J. Very Assist nice shot ball. also. Yeah, she has eight points. They have the sh they have some shooters on their team. As well as two three pointers. Her jumper is really on tonight. Jaguars got to look the ball get the ball in the middle of that zone. Edelbeck drives baseline again. Good play there. Stein grabber for three is no good. Tipped out of bounds by the Terriers. Jags ball. Haley Edelbeck is going to be the trigger man for Jags. Kicks it to the corner to Steingraber. She's going to reset. Crawley with the ball on the wing for the Jags. Gets it into the high post. Edelbeck with the short J off the back rim. Chases down her own miss. That's a good basketball IQ right there. If you know you missed the shot, go chase after it. Get the board. And a foul on Appleton West, number 33, Megan Stanky. That's her first. Fifth on the team. Jaguars can draw two more quick ones. Maybe they can get some cheap free throws. Stein grabber open on the wing. Content to just pass the ball around. Now she's going to drive baseline to her right hand, and she is out of bounds. 25 to 8 here. Terra's commanding lead. Looking to get back into our Lady Jags. Let's hope they keep fighting. Coughlin breaks the press. They got a 3 on 2. Good pass there to 15's. J is no good for Aguki. Nice rebound. Strong board. Strong by board. Nina Steingraber. By Diva. Sam Crowley with the floater is no good. She still has all eight points for Jags. Appleton West gets the ball again. The Jags are going to have to get better shots if they want to get back in. They are settling. Timeout Appleton West. That's their first. Richard Usman on the call there for the Terrors. Well, there's not much to say to your team when they're up 25 to 8. No, Guys, Tom, I keep mean, doing what they're yeah, doing. Exactly. I mean, besides the press, they, they struggle with the press a little bit. Yeah. But yeah. I think they've taken care of it. There's a lot of freshmen playing in this game. Those two on the Jags that came off the bench, Garashio and Baton. And one of the better players on Appleton West, Sarah Wiseman, is also a freshman. Four points already for her. Looks like both of these teams are pretty young with three seniors combined. Wow. So both teams have some potential going into the next few years. Yes, for sure. Look for them during playoff time. What is a terror, anyway? A terror? I'm not sure. Like, a night terror? Is that... I think I've seen their mascot. It kind of... It's, it's hard to explain what it looks like. I mean, it kind of looks like a... It, it stands on two legs, but it looks like an animal. Right, and see, see, it, it's got kind of a bronco-shaped head. It's got, it, it, it has a horse-shaped head, but it's furry. And they're blue and orange. Interesting, it's interesting it's an color odd, scheme. An odd mascot. Inbound into the corner to Coughlin. And she's going to break the press again with ease. Passes ahead to Stanky, who's going to not finish that one. Rebound to Jags. Crowley's pushing. Slows it down. Swings to McDonough. He swings to the corner. Tipped out of bounds. Jaguars ball.
Sam Crowley with the ball for the Jags on the top of the key. Pass fake. Need a stand grabber with it on the wing. Jags swinging the ball around. Kick to Crowley in the corner. Nothing there. Hook shot is good for Claire yeah, Very Shabley. nice by Claire Shabley. It's her first there. bucket. Sam Crowley with the assist. She is having herself a half. Spin move. Good take there by Maggie Coughlin. She's got an eight in this first half. Excellent spin move there and a soft lay. Shabley with the ball in the high post. Crowley chucks for three. No good. There's ball. Nick looks like Mark Sheedy is here taking the game. Oh, Ooh, steal by the Jags. And the layup is missed. Ball goes out of bounds. As I was saying, Mark Sheedy, principal here at AHS. Recently announced his retirement. Taken in the game, yes. Recently announced the retirement. Good for him. Excellent career. Just great mentor for the kids. Rave reviews from everyone who talks. Excellent. So anyone who just talks. Just really so. cares. Great man. Nice pass again by Kaufman. And 25 Muehlmans is fouled going up for that one. Claire Shibley on the foul. That's her second. Team sixth. Got three three Lady Jags lining up to come into the game. Looks like we got Edelbeck, Abby Schmidt, and Monica Baton checking in. Free throw is good by Neilmans, despite the heckling from the Ashwaubenon student section. She has nine. 28 to 10 tears. Despite that surge by the Jags early in the second quarter, this game is still pretty well out of hand. Safe to say. Second free throw is good as well. She's the first player in double digits tonight. She is 10. Edelbeck with the ball for the Jags. Swings over to 12, Garaccio, who drives left. Kicks to the wing. 14, Garaccio with the floor. Or Baton, excuse oh, with me. With a strong, strong rebound and shot from Abby Schmidt. Good play right there. Jags got to be aggressive. She's going to get two throws out of it. She's also a very good softball player. Number 25, Mielman's on the foul for the Terriers. It's her second. Air ball's the first free throw. Short on the second. Rebound of the tears. Coach Dave Herzog's really been utilizing his bench all game as every single player on the Jags, all ten of them have got some significant playing time here in the first you half. Yeah, you got a talented group of girls out here. Gives them all an equal opportunity. Maybe a sign of their maturity. Yes. That he's just trying to get them all used to playing. Should bode well for them next year as all but Haley Udelbeck are returning. Garaccio takes it coast to coast for the lane with the left hand. Oh, steal by Haley Edelbeck here. Steal by Edelbeck, and she travels with it. Eight seconds left. Let's see if the terrorists can get a little last second shot in here. Yeomans checks back in. Possibly looking to get her a jump shot. She gets the inbounds. Dribbles it up to court, and a foul by Crowley. Big mistake there as the Terrors are going to be going to the line for the one and one. Don't want to give them three points in that situation. It's Abby Schmidt's first foul. First free throw is wet. Whatever that means, yes. Basketball terminology being thrown around out here. Nick is pretty new to the game of basketball. He's more of a hockey guy. 
I'm an all-around sports avid follower. Missed the second rebound. Dare is fouled on the putback. 15, Gulkian. Tough name to say. Very good hustle out there. But no hustle in the way Jags. First free throw is good, despite the strange spin on that free throw. Looked like a knuckleball being chucked yes, in there. Yes, it really did. A little R.A. Dickey action on that one. Second free throw is good as well. Three, and the time expires on the Jags. Got to put that jumper up. These 12 points put up by the Lady Jags have given Dave Herzog something to build on. 32 to 12 Terrace. Half. Let's see if the Jags can get something going in the second half.
back ladies and gentlemen about to start the second half of play here at Schwabenon. Definitely an interesting first half there. First half of runs for both teams. Tail of two quarters for the, Definitely. Uh, for the Jags. Terrors started out 18 nothing, I believe after the end of the first quarter and the Jaguars went on a little surge but Terrors extended it back to a 20 point lead at halftime 32 to 12. Leading scorers in the first half were Sam Crowley with eight points for the Jags and Kimmy Muehlmans with 12 points for the Terrors. Looks like the crowd is ready to go. They're feeling wild. They're, they're, they're rearing to go here. Appleton West will inbound the ball. Number 11, Tesper Hyen. Jaguars back into their man to man defense. Trying to put a little pressure on them. Ball screen by the Terrors. Swung to the corner. Newman's with the ball on the, on the wing. And a foul on Steingraber. We got all the original starters out there for both teams right now. Yep. Got Start Coughlin, Verheyen, Agulkian, Wiseman, and Muehlmans for the Terrors, and Edelbeck, Crowley, Shabley, McDonough, and Steingraber for the Jags. Another foul on Neva Steingraber. Two quick ones here in the second on her. It's not what they're looking for if they're no. looking to get back in this game. Don't want to be getting foul trouble if you want to get back in the game. Terrors to inbound again. Muehlmans on the wing. Swings to Coughlin. She's got the ball. Top of the key. Backdoor pass to Muehlmans. Layup is no good. Good play there by the Terrace. Just couldn't finish. Crowley on the push for the Jaguars. Looking. Nothing there. And the Terrace settle back into that 2 3 zone. McDonough drives to the Jags. Kicks to Shavely. And she turns it over. Ball's loose on the floor. Steingrabber with it. 
and she gets it back. Good hustle play there. Crowley again with it. Got to get the ball in the middle of that zone. Over the wing to Crowley. Swings back up to Steingraber over to McDonough on the wing. She's going to have to shoot that shot. Ooh, rejected. Rejected and a by late, ooh, late, late foul call. call there by the ref. Looked like a pretty clean block to me. Yeah, they're starting on the break there. He calls the foul very odd. Definitely clean up top. Maybe got a little bit on the body there. Haley Edelbeck on the line for the Jags. Foul there is on number 15, Ak Goulian. This is the first. She's trying to break her <laughs> scoring drought. And there it is. It's her first point of the game for the senior. Press back on for the Jags. Ball is picked up by the Terrors. And good pass there. Way to cut to the ball by Coughlin. She pushes the ball up the court with her left hand. Sings it back over to Agulian. Feeds the post. Pump fake. Travel. Jaguars speeding him up a little bit. Trying to get back in it. McDonough to inbound to Crowley for the Jags. She's going to bring the ball up the court now. Crosses the timeline with 6.37 left in the third. Edelbeck with the ball for the Jags. Swing to McDonough. She's going to attack the gap. Left hand pass to Shabley. Hook shot, no good. Rebound to the Terrors. They're going to look to push the ball a little bit themselves. And now they slow it up. Good crossover there. Nice pass as well. Good point guard play there for the Terrors by five Coughlin. And Muleman's on her second attempt after a missed lay-in. Gets the ball back and is fouled. 22 Shabley picks up her third foul. Looks like Abby Schmidt's going to check in for her. Three early fouls for the Lady Jakes. Yeah, very early in the very second Very early. Half. Two, two minutes, less than two minutes into this third quarter here. Offensive foul on the out-of-bounds play. Illegal screen, it looks like. And 23, Sarah Wiseman, the freshman. That is her third as well, so we got a little foul trouble for these teams. That could be a problem, especially for Appleton West with their short bench. <laughs> McDonough drives, floater is blocked. Rebound, Abby Schmidt puts it back for two. Sophomore picks up her first two points of the game. Terrors break the pressure yet again. They haven't had much trouble since that early in that second quarter. Coughlin drives, kicks, good pass. Three-pointer off the rim. Crowley with the board. Pushes the ball, head to Stein grabber, attacks the rim and charges. That is her third foul in less than in just about two and a half minutes. Some pretty vulgar chants there by the Jaguar fans. Not appropriate for uh, this high school environment. <laughs> Jaguars pick up their fourth foul. That's going to be a problem. They get into the bonus. Ball is inbounded by the Terrors, pushing it up the court. Muleman passes ahead to Washkoviak. Swinging the ball around over to Agulian for three. No good. Rebound to Edelbeck. And she is fouled by Muleman's. Good box out there. That's her third as well on Muleman's. Looks like Stanky's at the scores table checking for her, as well as number 12, Alicia Garashi, is going to check in for the Lady Jags at the next dead ball. Pass by the Jags went awry, but it was corralled by 34 McDonough. Feed the high post to Abby Schmidt. She drives right, bounce pass to the corner. Edelbeck drives and kicks, swings the top of McDonough. Back to the corner to Baton. Swings it back to the corner to McDonough. Edelbeck has it. Top of the key to Baton. She's going to drive. Kick to the wing. There's some nice D being played by the Terrors Very right now. Very good D. Jaguars don't look too aggressive right now. I'm just surprising with down by this much. Shot by Edelbeck is swatted by 15 at Goulin. 
Gracio checks in for the Jags. Jags will inbound underneath their own hoop. Edelbeck to get the ball in. Swings it to the corner. Same play they ran in the first half to get an open three ball is no good. Rebound, and then it's blocked by Agulian again. She is a real force down in the post. Yeah. She is a better cook out there. Definitely. Ben Cook, member of the Ashwabanon boys team, UNI recruit, University of Northern Iowa. Very good player. It's a block there by Sam Crowley. And Once that's again, we got Jags some vulgar. Fifth. We got some vulgar cheers being. Yeah, the Jaguar fans seem to love the vulgar cheers. At Goulian on the line again for the Terrors. Sinks the first. She's got five. 33 15 Terrors with 408 left here in the third. No good. Rebound by Edelbeck. She pushes it up the left sideline. Stopped by five. Coughlin almost gets the steal, but she keeps it. Good pass down low to Schmidt. Kicks to the wing and almost stolen, but knocked out of bounds. Jaguars retain possession. 35, Emily Wipazinski checks in for the Terrors. That's her first minute. Sophomore. Another young player checking in. Baton dribbles up top over to Edelbeck. She's going to give it to Crowley. She's dishing it to Garaccio. Pass by Crowley is broken up, but the Jaguars keep possession. Baton on the drive, kicks to Edelbeck. Edelbeck launches the three ball, no good. Rebound to Garaccio, and Crowley controls it. She's going to drive to the left hand. Left hand floater again. It's no good. Abby Schmidt misses a putback attempt and a jump ball. Wow, a lot of action there. Good hustle both sides. Jaguars. Jaguars attacking the attacking, offensive board. Yes, keeping it alive. Willie Brown checks in for Sam Crowley. Good minutes there by Sam Crowley. She's playing hard. Again, she's a very good German student. Yes, she is spectacular. Same play again. Abby Schmidt on the lay-in. Good play. <laughs> Nice pass by Edelbeck. A little too aggressive there by number 12, Garaccio. 16 foul on the Jags. Next one of the Terrors are already going to be shooting free throws. Edelbeck gets on the floor. Good play there. Jump ball. Terrors are going to get it back, but that's what the Jaguars have to do. Scramble this game a little bit. Good hustle there by Haley Edelbeck, getting on the floor for that loose ball. Past few minutes have been very, very, very high, high pace for the uh, high octane game. Yes, here. for Lady J. Right here. Foul there, and number five Coughlin's going to be on the line in the bonus with over three minutes left in the third quarter. <laughs> that is not what you want. That could be a problem for the Jags. Crowley checks back in immediately. Coughlin sinks the first. And she sinks the second as well. She's now in double figures. Joins Mealman's in that stat. She has 10. <laughs> Lily Brown into the game for the Jags, just a sophomore. Another young player. She's got the ball in the wing now. And she, her pass is stolen by Tess Verhein. Brought off the court by Coughlin. She controls it. Swings to Agulian. Pass tipped away. Lily Brown controls it. And gives it right back. Oh, no. Jaguars get on the floor. Get the ball back. Timeout. Good call there by Dave Herzog. Heads up play. There has been some good action in this game. May not be a close game here, but the Jaguars are really playing hard in the second half. Keeping it tight. 
It just makes you wonder, Nick. Why didn't they come out with this energy what to if? start the game? Yes, what if? Shoulda, woulda, coulda. <laughs> Jaguars to inbound the ball here at half court. Sam Crowley controls it. Crosses the timeline. And she's going to pass over to Lily Brown in the corner. And her pass is tipped. Jaguars still have possession. Crowley has it. Monica Bates. Strong move by Monica Bates. And one. Strong take by the freshman. It's her first two of the game. Jaguars cut the lead to 16. If they can get a couple more buckets here in the third, maybe they can make a game out of this in the fourth. That foul is on number 35, Wipazinski for Appleton West. Hits her first. Free throw is no good. Jaguars still pressing, even off of a missed basket. They are really trying to create some tempo in this game. At Goulian, swings to Verheyen, swings to Wipazinski. Good steal by Lily Brown there, and she pulls it out. Smart decision there. Passes to Baton. And Garaccio now has it on the top of the key. Back to Baton. She drives spin move back to the left hand. No good. And the rebound on her shot attempt is tipped out of bounds by the Terrors. Checking in for the Terrors. They feel Megan Stanky. As well as Madison Manders is checking in for the Jaguars. Takes out number 12, Garaccio. Crowley runs down the pass. She's got the ball at the top of the key. Swings to Lily Brown on the wing. She drives her pass is stolen. Coughlin has the ball. Ooh, high dribble there. Could have been a carry. No call though. Play on. Coughlin drives. Hand check by Brown. Jaguar fans. Jaguar fans voicing their opinion. Yes. Haley Edelbeck checks back in for Brown. Coughlin on the line for the Terriers. Very good Shooting free throw one shooter. And one. Excellent shooter. She's played a really good all-around game, honey. Yes, she has. She has quite the dribbles, too. Definitely. Yes, not the dribbles, but... <laughs> cool. Second free throw is good as well for our Coughlin. Sam Crowley takes the ball up the court for the Jags. Looks like Appleton West has gone to a 1-3-1 zone. Skipped Crowley for three. Sinks it. It's her first three of the game. She's got 11 points now. Half the Jaguars total. Coughlin has it on the wing. She carries it. Jaguars get the ball back. Crowley again takes the ball off the court for the Jags. Appleton West still in that 1-3-1, one, one, switching up their zones. Skipped again to Crowley. She attacks the gap. She's fouled. Good aggressive take by Crowley. Fouls on the floor, though. Jags won't be shooting yet. Fifth team foul, though. Second foul on Megan Stanky for the Terrors. Shot is no good by Shabley. Terrors ball. Good hustle there by Tess for Hyen. Yes, getting the, getting the loose ball there. Helping out for the refs. And they exchange a couple kind words. Making the mo game move a little faster here. Came out in by the Terrors. They don't seem to have been fooled by this press of the Jaguars ever since that second quarter spurt. Five Coughlin's fouled again where she's going back to the line where she's been money. Tonight. 
Jaguars coach exchanges his freshman guards. Garaccio in for Baton. Coughlin sinks the first. She is cash from the line. Five for five. 13 points now. Sinks that one too. She must just be in his zone tonight. She's been working on her free throws. Definitely. Crowley passes to Manders. Back to Crowley, over to Edelbeck. Swings to the top of the key. That's Caraccio. Crosses left to right, back to Edelbeck. Drives left, gets into the lane, and the shot is just a bit strong. Rebound to Caraccio. She's tripped up, no foul call. And it's gonna be Terry's ball. Jenna McDonough checks in for the Jaguars for Garaccio. Shot by the Terriers at the buzzer is good for Rachel Akgulian. That's her seventh point of the game. 41-22 Terriers heading into the fourth. Big deficit. Definitely a big Jags deficit. Here. Jaguars are going to need a big run to get back into this one. Especially considering that they already have nine team fouls to the Terriers' five. A little more pump for the Schwabenau boys basketball team. This Friday, they're taking on the Kakana Galloping Ghosts at home. First round of the WIA playoffs. Seven o'clock, come out, show your support. It's gonna be a packed house. It's on channel 32 as well. Yes, the fierce Galloping Ghosts of Kakana. Should be a great ball game. Five versus four. Definitely, Jaguar boys looking to make a deep playoff run this year. For the matchup, what, against Pulaski next game? Yes, they play at Pulaski the next day. Definitely a tough road. Shrobnons had two think spectacular, a spectacular games against Pulaski this Definitely. year. Definitely. A couple of one-pointers, I heard. Crowley I drives with the lefty floater. I noticed she's going to her left hand. Yes. Nick. She must be ambidextrous. <laughs> she is. Indeed. Not only is she ambidextrous, her German skills are <laughs> exquisite. Her German skills are off the charts. Ekulian with the ball, drives to her left, kicks to her high end, three ball on the way, no good. Rebound by Muehlmans. Herzog looking for the over the back call. She's not gonna get it. Terror is getting tough on the boards. Jaguars can't keep him off. Freshman Sarah Wiseman with the put back. Crowley with the left hand bounce across half court. McDonough's open on the wing, doesn't shoot it. Steingraber's got the ball, kicks back over to McDonough, feeds the post to Edelbeck. She's gonna carry it back out to the corner. She's gonna pass it over, skip to Steingraber. McDonough's open on the wing, gonna launch one, no good, off the back iron. Shabley hustles to get the ball. Tipped out of bounds by the uh, Terrors. However, and Ashwabanon gets back. Crowley with the ball. 6.45 remaining here at Ashwabanon High School. Edelbeck drives left. No good on the lane. Shabley strong on the board because draws the jump ball. Terriers are going to get possession after the Jaguars got it at the end of the quarter. Little run and jump action here for the Jags. Appleton West is not phased by it. Coughlin's gonna fire a three ball, no good. Rebound to Shabley, over to Crowley. She's gonna walk it up. Steingraber's gonna launch from the wing, off glass, no good. And a foul. Double bonus, they're shooting two the rest of the way. Excellent call, Nick. Thank you, Edward. 10th team foul. 
Incredible. With 6-11 left. 6-11 It's going to make game. for a long rest of the game. Looks like it's uh, Rachel Agulian on the line. Gets the friendly bounce. Soft rims tonight, Ish Rob Mount. It's like you're playing in the park. Always nice. Second throw, sinks it. No need for the bounce on that one. She has nine points. Looking to burst into double figures. Terry is a very well balanced ball team. Their scoring has been spread out nicely tonight. It's a good recipe for victory. They've done a pump fakes, nothing there. Kicks it over to Steingrabber, swings to Crowley. Back to McDonough. No one's on her on the top of the key. Abby Schmidt has it. McDonough has it. Back to Steingraber. Great ball movement going Great on. Great ball movement by the Jags into Edelbeck. Fires from the free throw line. Off glass. No good. Rebound on the Terrace. They control it. <laughs> Coughlin has it. Kicks over to Wiseman. She nearly travels but keeps it. And Edelbeck picks... The pocket of number 11, Verheyen. Fancy dribbling here by Edelbeck. Spin move. Kicks it to Crowley. Drives the lane. And 15 again with the Ag block. Agulian. Welcome to the SWAT team, <laughs> just, says Rachel Agulian. Just a monster on the blocks. The Jags don't have an answer for her in the low post. Coughlin drives, kicks to Ekul, and she'll launch the three ball. No good. She's got some range on her, too. Definitely. She's a very versatile player. Showing all of her skills tonight. Haley Edelbeck with the left to right cross. Throws the ball away. Muehlman's on the run out for the Terrace. Pulls it out. Smart decision. Never mind. Over to Wiseman for the lane. Looked got like she was about to pull that out and then saw the open cutter. <laughs> Looking like we got a full... Full squad change here. Got a hockey substitution here. That's uh, 14 points now for Kimmy Muehlmans. Have yourself a game. Excellent player from Cares. She's just a junior. She'll be back again next year. That's promising. Definitely. This Appleton West squad is going to have a pretty good team next year. A couple of impact players. Three starters that are not seniors this year. Wow. Very impressive. Two sophomores and the freshman, Wiseman. He's serenaded by Rihanna at this moment. Excellent musician. I don't know if you caught Rihanna's performance at the Grammys. That I was, did not. Uh, with Bob Marley's two sons. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, tribute I take to the that late, back. I did the late, that. great reggae singer. That was a great performance. Looks like we're getting heckled now by yes. some of the Ash Robin on two Imigs. Two Imigs are uh, Jake and Zach Imig. Trying to distract us down there. Both bench players on the yes. boys' team. Very awful bench players at that. Jaguars turn the ball over again. Ball was inbounded to Tess Verheyen. Swung over to Wipazinski. She picks up her dribble, and she is hacked. Look at her, she got poked right in the eye. Jaguars getting pretty physical up there. Yeah, I think they're trying to they're trying to hurt the team now, it looks like. It's getting pretty wild. Whatever they can do to stop them from making these free throws, they've been deadly from the line tonight. Hey, when in doubt, go for the eye poke. Yes. Good stroke there by Wipazinski with only one eye. <laughs> Must remember that. Speaking of the closed eye free throw, Nick, do you remember, here's some more basketball trivia for you, do you remember when Michael Jordan, who just Ooh, turned 50, yeah, just, shot just the yesterday. free throw with his eyes closed? I do remember that. Well, I mean, I don't personally remember, but yes, I've seen it. Definitely, yes. definitely. What the player, or quite the player he was. Excellent. Michael Just paved Jordan. the way for many of the basketball moves you're seeing here tonight at this. <laughs> yeah, probably. Excellent rendition of 
girls basketball. Has his own basketball brand too. Definitely. Maybe some of them are wearing it right now. Very true. Looks like the Terriers indeed do have some Jordan uniforms on. Sideline trapped by the Jags. Lily Brown with another steal. She's playing hard right there. Takes it all the way to the rack. She's fouled. That'll be on the floor. Still not in the bonus. Lily Brown misses a wild layup attempt. Rebound of the Jaguars, swung back out top, back to Brown on the wing. She's gonna drive to her right hand, kick to Baton, kicks to Garaccio. Swing the ball back up top, reset the possession. Brown on the wing, drives with the right hand. It's good. Her first basket of the game. Good steal there. And looks like the ref's gonna award Appleton West a timeout to spike the loose ball. ball. Herzog did not like that one. Pretty animated. Jamie Averbeck, he does not look like he's a fan of that call either. No. Paul Neuenfeld looks like he doesn't care about no, that call. No, he does not care. He's sitting on the end of the bench. Owl City featuring Carly Rae Jepsen being played right now. Excellent song. To get down tonight. Very great song. Tears ball. 307 left. Another near steal by Brown. Ball is pushed up by 23 Wiseman. Kicks it over to 21 with Stroviak. Very hard defense. Some very right aggressive now. defense by Claire Scheibley. Another excellent student at Ashwaubenon. She Expo. is she is quite the student. The Ashwaubenon girls basketball team may not be having the best season on the court, but in the classroom they are stellar. They are spectacular. Spectacular student athletes. And the first free throw is a brick by Wipazinski. Hits the second one. She's now got two points, both free throws. Landers with the ball for the Jags. Swings it up top. Drive by Baton to the right hand, just a little bit strong. Rebound Terrace. They're gonna look to hold it for a great shot. Good screen set there. Can't get the ball out of Wiseman's hand. She's too quick for the Jags. Another solid screen. And a reach by Garaccio. It's gonna put the Terrors again at the line. Where they have been money. They have been absolute money from the line. That was a real brick. <laughs> However, <laughs> it dropped. <laughs> Skoviak misses the second. That may have been the definition of a brick. Thing just died when it hit the back of the rim. Shooter's touch, though. Oh, Abby Schmidt. Abby Schmidt is a beast in the paint. I've noticed that the, the Jags, they've shied away from the three-point shot, the perimeter shots. They've, they haven't been taken lately. Some good D there. Excellent hustle by number 12, Garaccio. Baton with the ball in the wing for the Jags. Garaccio swings to Manders. Lily Brown with the hard drive to the right hand. She's hacked and she'll get two throws. Oh, 
Lily Brown, the first free throw rolls out. That looked like it was going in. That was a nice shot. Not nice enough. Second free throw is money. And Lily Brown has three points now. Captain West brings the ball up the sideline. That's Wiseman all the way to the rim for the lay-in. She was having a game tonight. Eight. Manders with the ball. Over to Lily Brown, back to Baton. Pump fakes, drives to the right hand, kicks. Wayward pass. No one's home, over and back. Coach Herzog calls timeout. A 53-27 game with a minute 20 left. Let's see if he can drop the 26 point play. Inbounds the ball to Wipzinski. She's going to kick to Stanky over to number three, Andrea Steffen, getting her first minutes, and she immediately gets a bucket. And the Appleton West bench explodes. Madison Manders, pump fake, nothing doing, turns it over. 23 Wiseman on another steal. She's got it. Errant pass is controlled by the Terrors, and they're going to reset it. And the shot hits the bottom of the backboard by Stefan. Haven't seen that one yet today. <laughs> Interesting true. strategy. Seen a lot in this game, just not that. Madison oh. Manders drains the three ball from the top of the key to draw the Jaguars within could 25. Have been, could have been used a little earlier in this game. It's good to see the girls still playing hard, even with this insurmountable lead. Errant pass goes out of bounds by the Terrors. Jaguars have 12 seconds to score 25 points. Do you think they can do it, Nick? <laughs> Maybe a little hard to do, but let's see if they can do it. Never say never. Lily Brown with the streak to the rim and the finish. And that is your game. That's your gentlemen. ball game. Final score, 55-32. Appleton West handles the Jaguars. Leading scorer for the Jaguars, Sam Crowley with 11. Leading scorer for Appleton West, Kimmy Muehlmans with 14, as well as Maggie Coughlin with 14. Good game here at Schwabenon High School. Thanks for joining us. Signing off. For Nick Fenton, I'm and Eddie Matea. Thanks for listening.